Hi everyone, my name is Grant K, and welcome to my blog. In today's video, we're going to give you a sneak peek into the upcoming Smoke 2012 Subscription Advantage Pack, which is available for subscription customers. Now, there are a lot of new features as well as improvements in Smoke, so let's dig in and get started. First off, Format Support. On the import side, Autodesk has updated Smoke to support the latest RED 4.0 SDK. This brings in support for additional RED features, including support for the RED EPIC camera and HDRX. Native AVC HD is now also supported as a format, and that can be imported through the gateway, allowing you to start working with the media straight away. On the export side, there have been some improvements as well you can now export all flavors of ProRes directly from Smoke that can help your workflow with Final Cut Pro. Now, not forgetting all our avid friends, you can now export DNX HD codecs in the QuickTime wrapper. IMX wrapped in QuickTime can now also be exported from Smoke and can assist with workflows that have been standardized around this format. Last, but certainly not least, Smoke can now export MXF in the OP1A format. Again, this enhances anyone's workflow centered around these formats. Next up, our ever-expanding FlameFX Creative Toolset has grown even more. I'll just highlight a few tools. Starting with the addition of the Motif tool in Smoke. This super symmetrical pattern generator will take any source and allow you to create texture effects and motion graphics based on a variety of primary shapes. Next in line is the Damage tool. Damage is great for creating digital, analog or film damage on your sources using a series of parameters. New to Damage, is a series of presets for quick look creation. Spooling through the various presets, you can see there is a broad range of damage effects at your disposal. A new stylized module opens up a world of look design. Based on a system of layered effects, you can create a unique series of looks to spice up your imagery. Scrolling through the presets, you can opt for traditional looks such as comic book effects, newsprints, or painting styles. But since every aspect can be tailored to your liking, unique looks are easy to achieve and you can save them for later use. For any of you interested in trying to make your own image processing tools, the new FlameFX Matchbox is for you. Using OpenGL shading language or GLSL, Matchbox will allow you to code a variety of image processing tools to be used in Smoke. The Smoke UI will still have the same look and feel as other tools. Matchbox comes with examples of GLSL text files as well as presets to help you get started. For CGI work, we have introduced a motion blur module. You can take your CGI beauty pass as well as a motion vector pass and add motion blur to your renders as a finishing process. Why would you do this? Well, it's quicker to do motion blur when compositing and the flexibility to adjust your choices with clients in the room is so beneficial. Our final section is the Action 3D Compositor. Very quickly, with the grand amount of tools now available to you in the Action Node bin, we didn't want you to get lost searching for those tools you need. So now, clicking on the first letter of the tool on your keyboard highlights the nodes in the bin that start with the letter for easy navigation. With the release of Smoke 2012, we introduced a 3D lighting system giving you lens flares, rays, and shadow casting. Among a whole range of small improvements, Autodesk has added a new tool called Blooming 
that allows the light to bloom or glow the highlights of your image in the composite. This can be used to stylize your composites as well as create other types of lighting effects. To round off our look at the Subscription Advantage Pack for Smoke 2012, the final example I'd like to show you truly gives the Action 3D Compositor an added dimension. Using the lighting environment within the composite, you can now enable ambient occlusion. This creates proximity shadows or shadows that appear when objects are close to each other. This gives an atmosphere-like feeling to your scene and it can even be used with regular shadow casting. Now you can choose to either render your entire composite with ambient occlusion or render it separately as a render pass. In the finishing process, this can then be combined with the final result at a later stage. So roughly six months after the release of Smoke 2012, Autodesk have come back and put even more in Smoke. There are more flame effects and there's more action stuff which we didn't even look at. Keep an eye out for the release date of the Subscription Advantage Pack. If you'd like to know any more information about Autodesk Smoke or you'd like to try our free 30-day download copy, just go to autodesk.com forward slash smoke for Mac. I hope you guys have enjoyed this sneak peek and I look forward to seeing you again really soon.